What up, Dokkaners? The details for the new Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Harutagarn Dokkan festivals have dropped on the JP Dokkan Twitter. So let's take a look at the animations first, then we'll take a look at what the units do with the translations from Goresh. But let me pull up the animations here. Now let me pause the music. This is for JP only, not for global. But obviously, global will eventually get this, so we still want to know. So let's check this out. All right, so this is the Harutagarn intro i'm guessing oh nice you get to see the two halves form oh okay you don't get, actually get to see them form all right that's still cool though nice they didn't quite line up but okay all right neat 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 sq let's see the final form though there it is there it is I mean, it looks... They, they give it the proper scale. He looks huge. All right, this is a little blast burn thing. Okay. Is that it? Okay. All right. I guess that's it. All right. Rudigan looks cool. I think the main thing that looks cool about him is, like, the animations to make him look big. Because, I mean, he's a huge character, but he's going to be playable. So, you either just go all the way with it or you don't and i'm glad they went all the way with this this looks pretty cool all right now let's take a look at Son Goku. Here we go. yo that's cool wait was that from the movie that wasn't in the movie was it okay that's just the entry oh is this a counter or is that a nullification Cool, cool. Okay. Man, these extra animations need to be voiced. Uh, all I want to see is that Dragon Fist, okay? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a revive counter. Or, a, no, it's not a revive counter. It's a counter finish. we go there we go let's see it let's see it where's the pose is that it what happened to the po it feels like some parts are missing here like the where's goku in here i mean this part looks cool and then they they give us the th where's the where's the pose okay i get it now all right, so uh, I've been seeing on social media while I was waiting for the animations and the translations, I was waiting and all I could see was Twitter up in a storm when it came to the animations. I didn't read into it. All I saw were like, I'm angry. I hate this, that. I don't hate the animations, but I do understand why people are frustrated. I'm assuming it's because there's no Goku pose at the end. And something about the, the Dragon Fist sequence seems a bit incomplete. But you know what this tells me? Silver lining. What this tells me is that they've put all of their eggs in the anniversary basket. So this is something that happens sometimes with Dokkan Festival units where they don't seem, they, they seem slightly underwhelming in terms of animations because they're kind of saving up for something bigger. I don't know how, you know, the development stuff works, whether that should even be a valid excuse, but that's just kind of what it screams to me. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about the animations and let's be civil because I've seen some pretty angry people on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think about this. A am I I'm not crazy right like something feels off about the dragon fist sequence and then of course the lack of the pose although if it's a KO screen haven't they sometimes not shown that in the actual video like in the little teaser all right so let's take a look at the units now we'll start with the Herdiger. so right here Herdiger, and this guy is an int unit okay what's the guy do the phantom Majin of fear movie bosses resurrected warriors 170 percent extra 30 to legendary existence and transformation boost Raises defense and causes immense damage. So he's a permanent defensive stacker in his incomplete form. Calamitous monster. That's cool. Plays entrance animation once only upon first attacking turn. Key plus three attack and defense plus 100. High chance to crit for five turns. Cool. Attack and defense plus 200. Gains an additional attack plus 100% when attacking. 
Great chance to dodge. Only a great chance? Shouldn't this be like a guaranteed dodge? Performs an additional attack that has a great chance to become a super attack during the turn in which an attack is evaded. Gain a defense plus 10 for each attack evaded up to 50. Okay, so it's all about dodging. So it's a good thing it's an int unit. So the more you dodge, the more defensive, uh, defensively inclined you become, which is good. All right, so base form looks kind of cool. All right. It's a defensive stacker. Able to be used. So transformation takes place. Uh, able to be used when HP is 70% or less after three turns have elapsed from the start of the battle or six turns have elapsed from the start of the battle without a health restriction. Okay. Uh, initial links, brutal beatdown. Oh, no, these are the links in general. Brutal beatdown, berserker, big bad boss, revival, nightmare, fear and faith, and fierce battle. Categories, movie, bosses, resurrected warriors, legendary existence, transformation boost, tra time travelers, planetary destruction, destroyed figures, no giant form. So once again, if it wasn't clear, this is not a giant form unit. This is a regular usable unit. So its sprite will be at the same scale as the rest of your units, I would imagine. But I know that some people are a little bit concerned whether this is going to be relegated to a giant form. We've already set the precedent with Fat Janemba. Fat Janemba is a giant monster. But we were able to use that unit before he transforms into the tech super Janemba. So there shouldn't be, there wasn't, I wasn't concerned at all, honestly. I knew that this was going to be like a fully usable character. So the Herdiger complete phantom demon flame cannon greatly raises attack for one turn, causes immense damage. Complete winged form. T plus three attack and defense plus 250 gains an additional attack plus 150 when attacking gains an additional attack and defense plus 100 and high chance to perform a crit as the first attacker in a turn. Performs an additional attack that has a great chance to become a super attack. Great chance to evade enemies attack. Perform an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack during the turn in which an attack is evaded. Wait, did I miss something? Where's the dodge? Is there a dodge? No, there's no chance to dodge. Okay. Gains additional attack. Uh, gains additional 10% chance to dodge enemy attacks and performs a critical hit for every attack evaded during the turn. Gains an additional 10% dodge and... 10% chance to crit for every attack evaded. Every time three attacks are evaded. Every time three attacks are evaded, this character will evade all enemy attacks on the character's next attacking turn. Very interesting and pretty cool. Uh, great chance to evade enemy attacks. Okay, so you still have the 70% chance to dodge. So uh, what this is telling me is that this is a full dodge unit. And the fact that this is int definitely helps. So, all right. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I think this is actually a pretty cool unit especially this if you dodge three attacks in one turn the next turn you're 100 percent safe that's a really cool new mechanic not, okay not a new mechanic this the dodge mechanic is there but it's a new twist on the dodge mechanic i think that's pretty neat so let me know in the comments what you think about that what do you think about this unit overall now let's take a look at the super saiyan 3 goku and let's see what we got here this is an str unit i think i should probably zoom in a little bit more this one's there's a lot to take in here all right Super Saiyan 3 Goku STR. So movie here is final trump card, 170% extra stats plus 30 to Super Saiyan 3 and Kamehameha. Greatly raises attack for one turn, raises defense for one turn, and causes immense damage. Passive flickering key of the dragon. Key plus three, attack and defense plus 200. Medium chance to crit, high chance to dodge. Gains additional attack and defense plus 150 when performing a super attack. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 159 and chance to crit and dodge plus 20% as the second or third attacker in a turn. Interesting. Gains an additional attack plus 159 and chance to crit plus 50% when HP is 59% or less. Great chance to nullify unarmed super attacks aimed at this character. Standby. Oh, stand. Yeah, so standby. Able to be used when HP is 70% or less after three turns have elapsed from the start of battle. After six turns have elapsed or, or six turns with no health restriction. Enter standby for five turns. And then when in standby, unable to attack outside of when the finish is activated. Attack and defense plus 333. Gains an additional attack plus 159% for one turn from first appearance. But if you can't attack, what's the point of that? Great chance to dodge enemy attacks. Both units have a 70% chance to dodge. Gains an additional chance to dodge by 20% when HP is 59% or below. Reveal the location of enemy super attacks during the character's attacking turn. All allies, key plus three, defense plus 59, gains an additional attack plus 333 and dodges enemy attacks during the turn in which the finisher is activated. So ideally, you would want to activate the finisher on the same turn that you activate the standby. Can you do that? What's the condition to finish? Activate when enemy launches a super attack at the character. 
Okay. So because you can scout the attack... Okay, so I see now. I see how this works. So ideally, you want to be launching this finisher when the enemy is enemy's attack hits you. So wherever that is, send this unit there. And then you will massively raise attack temporarily, nullify the enemy's super attack, and counter with intense power and perform a critical hit. All right, it's interesting. I think that at least... Say what you will about the animations. I think that both of these units have some pretty clever new twists on some of the conventional mechanics that we're used to. So I think that that is pretty cool. I think that th this brings a strategic element that you don't otherwise have when it comes to, I guess, finishers. Not that finishers have been an old, you know, long-standing tradition, but this is pretty neat. I think both units have been uh, built very interestingly. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Goku on a scale of 1 to 10. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the links here. Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha over in a flash limit breaking form. Pierce Battle, Categories, Movie Heroes, Final Trump Card, Super Saiyan 3, Kamehameha, Pierce Saiyans, Full Power, Goku's Family, Turtle School, Master of Evolution, Bond of Friendship, Accelerated Battle, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, Bond of Parent and Child, and Earth Bread Fighter. So there you go. That is the full look at both of the Dokkan Festival units. Very interesting. All right, so now that we have taken a look at the animations, we've taken a look at what the units do, there's a couple more pieces of news that I just wanted to quickly gloss over here. The main one for JP is that there is a new red zone coming up, Movie Bosses 2, like a, like a movie version number two. Uh, theatrical version number two is scheduled to appear, so that uh, is going to be fun. You've got you've got Tao, you've got Dr. Wheelow in here, so there's going to be some fun, interesting new bosses that will be dropping for JP. The... Oh, Beerus is the support memory. So maybe Beerus is going to be the stage seven, which would be pretty neat. All right. I mean, I mean, that makes sense, right? He's he's the pinnacle of all bosses in general. Like nobody tops Beerus. Not yet, right? So that is pretty neat. All right. And then uh, there is a new Dragon Ball story that is coming up, understandably. So they are revamping the uh, Harutagarn story event where you can get like the physical Tapion and uh, you could also get the Int Gohan. Those units have just been sitting there for ages, never having been given any sort of an update. So I would imagine that they will all be getting TURs and potentially EZAs, hopefully. So even if the, the Dokkan Fest celebration overall in terms of the units aren't that great, you've got some nice free-to-play units to come out of this. You got Saiyan 3 or Saiyan 2. You got Saiyan 1 and you got Physical Tapey. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Physical Tapion doesn't drop from this. Physical Tapion drops from the Dokkan event. Yeah, the Dokkan event, the Harutagarn Dokkan event. What if he receives a Dokkan Awakening? Actually, if, if that was the case, wouldn't they announce it already? So maybe that's probably not going to be the case. But yeah, I mean, we have had some, some older Dokkan event drop units receive some cool updates, like the Int Frieza, for example. So, if, you know, I, I would love at some point for this guy to get something. The drop rate is pretty minimal. I remember this was one of the first units that I farmed out when I started playing Dokkan. I really thought I was doing something. Like, I thought this guy was amazing. Attack plus 40, extreme class enemies, attack and defense minus 21 HP is 80% or above. How adorable. And then there's also a new burst mode that's coming up for JP. And uh, for this one, what are the categories? Do they not show? I guess they don't show. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so more content coming to JP. So this is their uh, New Year's celebration sort of uh, preview. So if you guys are uh, excited for the upcoming New Year's celebration, then get hyped because these units are built pretty cool. I think that they are creative. That's what I'm going to... I'm going to hold on to that. That's going to be my main source of happiness on this one. Global players, we will be getting these units in April. So look forward to that over there. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and reactions to the animations, your thoughts and feelings on the units themselves. Which one looks better to you? Which one was built right? Which one was built wrong? Let me know your overall feelings on this in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you soon know when I want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and I'll return to Dokkan responsibly.